so yeah, so for those of you who are just joining and those of you who are new and who haven't been on the Quiet Time Challenge or you've never been on any of my scopes, um, or if, if you are um, watching the replay, make sure you share and make sure you give hearts. Good morning. You can give hearts by just tapping this um, the screen. That's how Periscope works. And that just basically gives me love. It gives God love. Um, and it just also lets me know that what I am saying is resonating with you. And um, I am Deetra Trueheart. I am a life purpose generator, a purpose provoker, and I am all about helping women of faith um, live purposefully and grow spiritually. I want you to get out of your own way and I want you to get to the business of living and not just living, but living the life that God has purpose for you to live. And so um, I am a speaker, a teacher, a preacher. I am um, a mom, I am a wife and a whole bunch of other awesome things. But more importantly, I am just a, a girl who loves God and wants to see people live God's best life for them. So today we're gonna talk a little, yeah, maybe I'm not supposed to have music because my um, my iTunes is acting kind of quirky. So I'm just gonna go with my notes and we're gonna talk a little bit about, um, hey, good morning. Um, I am going to talk a little bit about um, what quiet time kills and why it is so critical for us to continue to have that quiet time. Um, and so the first thing that it kills is confusion. Um, when you have you if you if you notice that a lot of times we, you know, have either confusion and chaos in our lives. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of clutter in our minds. Um, First, let's understand that God, according to, um, I think it's 1 Corinthians, I saved these in here so that I could share them with you. 1 Corinthians 14 and 33 says, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. And so in this particular area of scripture, he was talking about how you worship and he was talking about order. But the essence of this is, is regardless of, you know, how God does things, he does not do them in confusion and he does not do them in chaos. And so if you have confusion and chaos in your life, if you have craziness going on, know that God is not in that. Just know that he ain't he ain't in that. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so um, but when you get quiet and when you spend time with him and again, we talked a couple of weeks ago before I went out of town is that even those five, 10, 15 minutes, if you can quiet yourself and you can quiet your mind and quiet your spirit to connect with God. Um, good morning, Mocha. Um, good morning, Vaz, Jen. Um, if you can quiet your spirit enough to connect with God. Good morning, boo. Um, good morning, Pancrate Vincent. Um, if you can quiet yourself enough to uh, connect with God, he will begin to speak with you. And so, bonjour. Okay. So, um, I think that sometimes, you know, even like yesterday morning or these last couple of days, I have been purposefully and intentionally going to bed early. And I have also been um, waking up early. And so yesterday morning when I woke up, um, I got up, I got in the shower. My husband came home from work and he was like, where are you going? And I was like, nowhere in particular. I'm actually going to be working from home today. But I just kind of woke up. And even in the morning when I woke up, I was like, I could have did a periscope today. And so, but I, not only did, had I talked about doing a periscope, but I also, God had given me more things to share with you because this month we're talking about quiet time. If you are not a part of my I Speak Life Society, which is my um, private Facebook group for women, um, go to Facebook, look up I Speak Life Society and at um, request access so that you can get in there because I'm talking more, I, I share my periscopes in there um, and we talk more about quiet time and really what it takes in order for us to go to that next level. Um, and so at any rate, I had, God gave me some more stuff to share. And so today we're going to talk just a little bit about confusion and chaos because again, the enemy want, if, if you have a lot of stuff going on with you, that's the enemy trying to confuse you. He's trying to confuse purpose. He's trying to confuse what God wants to do in your life. He's trying to clutter your mind and your thoughts so that you don't get quiet enough to hear from God. And here's the thing. Um, everything that's good is not always good for you or it's not good at that time. And always understand that because a lot of times we will get caught up in things thinking like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. Um, and one day I'm going to do uh, maybe this week I'll do a scope on um, suffering from FOMO. Um, and I saw this somewhere and what FOMO is. Does anybody know what FOMO is before I tell you? Because maybe you're like me and you didn't know. Type in the screen. I'm talking to you. Awesome. 
What does anybody know what FOMO, F O M O means? You know, they make uh, acronyms for everything now. Good morning, um, Evange McBain. No, nobody knows what FOMO is. No clue. Keep let's say anybody else know what FOMO is. <laughs> and this is probably something them kids made up because you know the kids they make up anything. It's like YOLO. Blessings. No. Okay, so FOMO is fear of missing out. How juicy is that, right? Fear of missing out. And so what happens is is that we fear, right? We um fear or we are afraid of missing out like we suffer from FOMO <laughs> it's so crazy I swear these kids probably made up YOLO right all of this whatever solo YOLO MOLO whatever so but the idea is is that a lot of times we rush 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 we get you know all of this chaos and confusion in our lives um, because we didn't take time to get quiet and let me just say let me put my hand up here right I can put both hands up and say that I am I am a victim of that that as an overthinker and we're going to even talk a little bit about some a few other things and maybe I'll touch upon those tomorrow um but when we talk about you know you 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 just think you're going to miss out like if I don't do it now like I'll, it'll never come up now let me just say this um and you've heard me talk about this that the lifetime of the opportunity when you get an, an opportunity of a lifetime there is a lifetime of that opportunity that opportunity is not here for forever and so there are some opportunities and some things that you most shortly have to jump on because if you don't you're going to miss out however there are some things that um you know, God is saying, I never sent that to you. I never told you to do that. You didn't even talk to me about it. And so um, when, when, when we get to the place of, you know, getting rid of and spending time with God um, and having quiet time with God, um, Philippians 4, um, and I'm going to just read 4, hmm, Philippians 4, um, six and seven and so it's saying be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests uh, be made known unto God and the peace of God which passeth all understandings shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus if this is juicy to you um, you want to be sharing this you want to swipe right on your iPhone you want to swipe up on your um, favorite scripture yes swipe up on your Android there is a lifetime for a lifetime opportunity yes if you get this they're like oh my god this is an opportunity of the lifetime it might be the opportunity of the lifetime but trust that there is a lifetime within that opportunity um, there is a time frame it is not just you know for forever um, it's kind of like you know you got that sale at New York and company it's only until Monday it's an opportunity of the lifetime they got 70 and 80 percent off but if you don't go within the time frame that they have uh, there is an expiration date if you don't go between this by Monday at midnight or whatever time the mall closed because sometimes they'll extend it online Oh, sorry about that. That was my uh, my alarm just went off. But if you get those emails that um, that say, you know, we, uh, you know, it, you can't get it in the store, but you you running boo. <laughs> I love it. If you get, you know, the coupons that'll say, you know, if you shop online, that it we're you know online only. The the sale has been extended, but it's only online. So then what happens is is not only now you can't get it in person, but you can only get it for a small fragment of time. And so I understand that I do. But at the end of the day, don't be like me or anybody else and get to the point where you feel like you are missing out. That that fear of missing out, that FOMO, that you feel like oh my god, or even you feel like you're being left behind. You feel like everybody is you know accelerating past you. Um, one of the things that God spoke to me a few weeks ago was that for me to stop worrying about and seeing what other people are doing and feeling like I'm being left behind and feeling like maybe I'm not going fast enough. And he says I can accel accelerate you um, beyond what the where those people are. And this is a word for you that God can accelerate you be on uh, if you spend time with him and you let him speak to you and here's the deal it God talks to me in a car he talks to me in a mall he talks to me when I'm at work like when I spend time with God God he is a timely God yes he is when I speak when I spend time with him he, and when you spend time with him and we talked about this 
your um he says my sheep will hear my voice right my sheep who hear my voice and so if you, when you spend time with God, you can, that's a troll. I mean, I don't necessarily know if that's a real person, but don't entertain that. We don't entertain those anymore. So, um, at the end of the day, you know, when you spend time with God, you hear his voice and you hear him speak. Just like this morning, I hadn't planned on doing a periscope, but at 649, he says, get up. You're going to start doing these periscopes. And I'm like, for real? He's like, yes, you went up. You ain't tired. You went to bed early. Um, get your tail up and share. And I'm like, Okay, so I'm here sharing. So again, when you spend time with him, and this is also what quiet time kills. It kills the confusion in your head. You get clear and you know without a shadow of a doubt, it, it, it kills your inability to be able to hear God clearly. You are now able to hear him. When he says something, you move. Do you do private sessions? I do do private sessions. Um, I like that you know what you know what you need to do. Um, I love your obedience. Listen, my obedience did not always come like this. It, you know, this is, this is, this is time. Now, like I shared with you in our quiet time challenge, um, come April 21st next year with 2017, it will be 20 years. Literally. I think that's 20 years that I have given my life to Christ. Um, I gave my life to Christ up under a pew, um, crying and bawling. Um, I committed, I was laid out. And I committed my life to Christ. Um, and now, mind you, I had been in church my whole life, but it wasn't until I got to know him and I experienced him. There was something about the experience of Jesus. There was something about the experience of God that you cannot like you. It, it's kind of like like people say, like they're saying, can you see God? Can you see air? No, but you breathe, don't you? It's like you don't see him, but you know he's there. And when you have a relationship with him, um, it's 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 one of those things where you over time it it quiet time also kills curiosity and I'm not talking about curiosity where sometimes you just gotta say God why would it what in the world is going on what you doing because this right here ain't what I had planned I'm not talking about that but I'm talking you remember that Mo I was under the pew like uh, they had to come get me <laughs> they had to come get me I was like, <laughs> I love it. But the best decision I ever made, best decision I ever made next to marrying my husband and having my child, best decision that I ever made. Let me just tell you. Um, and so, again, you know, be careful for nothing. Right. In everything by prayer, the writing on your uh, sw sweatshirt is prophetic, is a prophetic connection to this periscope. This is my brand. I speak life. If you want one. Um, they're not even for sale yet, but I have t-shirts on my website. If you want one, go to trueheartspeaks.com or even just email me at info at trueheartspeaks.com and we can talk about getting you one. But this is, I Speak Life is um, my signature brand um, for through True Heart Speaks Enterprises. And I actually do an event called the I Speak Life Empowerment Experience for Women. Um, so thank you. But yes, I mean, you know, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Um, and the peace of God, right? So as a result of all of that, and the peace of God which which passes, it surpasses. The, God has a kind of peace when you spend time with him and you really get to know him, that it passes all understanding and shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. It shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Why? Because it passes all understanding. You don't even have to understand it. Like it's something you can't even fathom, right? How juicy is that, that we know that the God that we serve, um, that there is a peace that pass, surpasses understanding. Like I am an intellect. I have two master's degrees. I am an analytic by trade, type A personality. My husband knows, and I hate when he does it, but he knows I can find just about anything online. If he needs something, babe, in the middle of me working, babe, I need you to find something. Can you look it up? Don't you see me working? And yes, he's on Periscope, so this ain't no secret. Yes, I, what do you need? Why you can't look it up, babe? You know you can look it up and find it in five minutes. But that's just me. But there are some things that you will never understand. We got some people on here who are PhDs, who got master's degrees, um, who got street degrees. You got street cred. I mean, you and you don't necessarily have to be a school because there's some people who are smart who ain't never been to school. So I'm not discrediting those of you who don't have degrees because at the end of the day, 
you are, you have some understanding. We are the IT of a girl. Listen, um, I'm like, can you just go hi from Russia? Praise God, welcome. But you you just you know you want to understand everything. We all want to have some understanding of things. But the scripture is clear for Philippians four and seven, and the peace of God which surpasses and it doesn't say surpass surpass. I added that, but it passeth an all understanding. Um, say, and I don't know what that is. So you have to tell me, are you going to have me cussing in Russia? I don't know what that is. Is that hello in Russia? You know, people try to get you like, say this. And you be saying, <laughs> you ain't going to get me. Um, so you got to tell me what that is before I say it. Um, and so it shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So what quiet time kills? Quiet time kills confusion. You know, mine. They try to get me out there saying, well, you know, you, you, when you learn words, cuss words in Spanish, and <laughs> folks don't know what you're saying. You're like, <laughs> you're, I got you. Um, mm -mm. Good morning, Ida Mae from New Jersey. Hi, love. So, um, so yes, yeah, so it kills confusion and chaos. If you are feeling, you know, some kind of way, let me just tell you, get quiet, get quiet, forget about all of the stuff that's going on around you. Forget about what those people are doing, because guess what? As God told me, I'm telling you, um, God's plan for you is sovereign. God's plan for you is just for you. He has created for you. Um, I just got distracted because my boo just came in the house singing. Those of you who know him know he sings all the time. So I hear him coming in. But um, if you, if, if you, hold on. Hi, boo. He don't hear me. So at any rate, um, it kills confusion and chaos. And so if you have been kind of feeling like, okay, everybody is kind of like passing me by and, you know, or I'm feeling like I'm stalled and I'm feeling like I'm stuck or I'm feeling like I'm not moving quick enough. Sometimes it's not anything that you are doing and it's everything that has to do with God. Good morning. It has everything to do with God in having you in this place. And what I ha I, I placed um, something on Facebook or somewhere one day and I said isolation sometimes you have to go through isolation sometimes for um, restoration, for transformation, um, for manifestation and then for elevation. Um, so sometimes you are isolated and it seems like everybody is surpassing you. But in that season um, of isolation, God is creating you. It is like a cocoon, a caterpillar in a, you know, who is becoming a butterfly, the transformation you are, you are getting ready to be manifested. You are, you are being restored. You are, you are being transformed. You are, your character is being built. Um, and so if you know, I'm only going to be on for a little while longer. So share, you know, swipe right and share, swipe up and share. Um, give me those hearts to let me know that God is speaking to you. It's not me, but it's him. But quiet time is so essential right now because there is so much going on in the world there is so much going on in society there is so much going on um, even in our families that if you do not get quiet if you got and listen again and I'm saying these because I want you to be able to write them down and refer back to them 1 Corinthians 14 and 33 for God is not the God and author of confusion an author is what a creator he is not the creator of confusion but of peace and so if, if you if you got a lot of stuff going on, that's stuff that you have allowed. And now here's the deal. There are some things that God will allow in order to get your attention. Some things he he's not the author of it, but he will allow it. It might not be God sent, but it can be God used. And so when good morning, everybody who's joining, if you are in a place where there's confusion and there is chaos in your mind, in your spirit, um, then you need to. He has you in isolation sometimes. And listen, we got to get quiet because a lot of times if we don't get quiet, we'll move too fast. Just think about what would happen if you cut a butterfly out of a cocoon too fast. His wings don't develop. He can't fly. He will have to walk his whole entire life life thank you for those of you who have shared and who are joining this periscope um but he's not fully developed and so if you move too quickly right out of FOMO y'all tell him what FOMO means um first Corinthians 14 and 33 and Philippians 4 6 through 7 6 and 7 is what um I have been sharing and if you move too quickly be out of fear of FOMO those of you who know what FOMO is typing in for the new people what is FOMO if you move too quickly because of FOMO then you miss out on God's blessing trying to get man's blessing you miss out on God's purpose trying to seek the purpose of somebody else yes the fear of missing out you miss out 
on, you know, the revelation and the transformation that God has for you trying to walk in somebody else's footsteps, trying to run somebody else's race. Yes, fear of missing out. Boom, boom, gotcha. So we're not going to be fearful of missing out anymore. We're going to seek God. We're going to get quiet with God because God can redeem the time. I've been asking God, God, just redeem the time, like redeem the time, redeem the time, redeem the time so that I don't feel like I'm missing out. Help me to be, you know, okay, content wherever I am. Help me to be content wherever I am. Um, I'm not, does anybody know where that scripture is? Cause I don't want to look it up where he, where Paul says, that, that whether I am a base, whether I am hungry, whether I'm rich, whether I'm poor, I know how to be a base. I know how to be content. It doesn't matter. I, no matter where I am, I know how to be content. That is where we want to be. We want to be in the will of God. We want to be content where God has us, whether we got a lot of money or where we got a little bit of money, where we ain't got no money. We got more month than money, but we are okay because we know God has us. That's what quiet time does. It kills confusion. It kills chaos. One of the things that I didn't share, um, and I don't even have it in my notes, is that it kills comparison. Because God can speak to you and he can affirm you and he can affirm who he has called you to be. And then you can be okay with being in your situation because you know that where you are is where God has you. You know that. So um, I have about three minutes. I'm going to close at 745. And so before I do that, just give me some love right here and let me just know if this is high topic 1C, if this is oh, top 1C, if this is blessing you, if this is ministering to you, if this is meeting you where you are. Um, let's go get a heart fest going. Let's worship in hearts. Um, I don't know what that means. Um, I hope that's another language. Um so at any rate, uh, let's get the, keep the hearts coming. Don't get distracted. Don't get the, keep the hearts coming. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Let's worship God. Let's give God what is due to him. He is a mighty God. He is a awesome God. We love you, God, meeting you right where you are. So awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. God is so faithful. He is so faithful. So faithful. So faithful. So faith, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, t tears, I need to hear God through you. The blood of Jesus, I bind the hand of the enemy that will come to steal, kill, and to destroy, that will come to cause confusion and chaos. Um, in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus be upon you right now. The blood of Jesus, the love of God, the love of Christ be upon you right now in the name of Jesus. Let's worship him with hearts. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for just being here today. We thank you, God, for waking me up because this was a good old juicy message that you gave to me to give to them that I ministered to me. Lord, I thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Um, email me at info at trueheartspeaks.com. I do um, 45 minute coaching sessions and I also do, um, I have a 30 day coaching session. Um, it's actually on my website. One is a pick my brain session and one is my push me coaching session. You can go to my website and take a look at those, but um, email me at info at trueheartspeaks and I can forward you the information and we can talk about doing some private sessions. Um, if you want to coach with me, we can do it. We can do it. My, my 45 minute is, I think, 147. My uh, 30 day program is 397. Let's do it. Let's get you pushed into purpose. Let's get you um, uh, knowing and operating and mastering your quiet time. Let's get you out of your head and into God's heart in the name of Jesus. God, we just magnify you. We worship you. We lift your name up, oh God, as, our, as your people, those who will listen to the recording and those who are on live, you are welcome, love. Um, we just thank you, God, for this opportunity just to come before you, God, as we close out, Lord. We thank you, oh God, and have an understanding of what quiet time kills. We understand that it kills confusion. We understand that it kills chaos. And we also understand that it confuse, it, com it kills um, comparison. And so, God, we don't want to be confused or in chaos or comparing ourselves to anybody. We want to walk, oh God, into the purpose and the plan that you have for us, God. We want to be who you have called us to be, oh God. We, oh God, want to, uh, we do, we no longer want to operate by FOMO, fear of missing out, because we're not missing missing out on anything. If we seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all other things will be added unto us. God, we will trust you, oh God, because we know, oh God, that 
the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. You order our, our steps, oh God. You or we have favor with you, God. And so our steps are not about like anybody else's steps, God. And so we just thank you, we praise you, we magnify you, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you are not the author of confusion. We thank you, oh God, that, that there is peace that surpasses all understanding. We thank you that it shall keep our hearts and our minds in the midst of, you know, death, in the midst of illness, in the midst of, you know, marriage marital issues, in the midst of, um, you know, health issues, in the midst of issues on our job, in the midst of financial issues, oh God, that you will give us peace, oh God, that quiet time kills confusion, it kills com comparison, it kills chaos, but more importantly, it gives us, oh God, clarity. We're thankful for clarity, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. We magnify you. We lift your name up, oh God. I pray, oh God, for everybody watching. I pray for everybody listening to this, this recording, oh God, that you, oh God, would, could, would start speaking to them in unusual and conventional ways, oh God. Not just while they're on their knees, oh God, but while they're driving their car, oh God, while they're at their job, oh God. When they're getting ready to cuss somebody out, that they will hear a word from you that will say, shut your mouth and be a witness of me. In the name of Jesus, while they're looking at their bank account and their mind is going in all different kind of ways because there is no money in the bank account that you will speak a word of peace oh God a word of clarity oh God in the name of Jesus Lord that whatever is going on in their bodies oh God their minds oh God their spirits oh God their families oh God their relationships oh God on their job in school wherever they are God we speak a word of peace in the name of Jesus we speak a word oh God of clarity, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we speak the blood of Jesus. We speak healing. We speak correction. In the name of Jesus, that's another C, correction. God will correct you. He will speak to you. He will tell you, shut your mouth. He will tell you, you know you didn't have no business doing that. He will tell you, now don't go there. I'm telling you right now, don't go there. If you go there, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen, but don't go there. Stay your tail at home. God has a way of correcting. He has a way of healing. He has a way of giving clarity. And so, God, we just thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. And you all have a blessed, a wonderful, and a magnanimous day. Give me some hearts as we um, go out and we have a wonder. We claiming it in Jesus' name with hearts. Tap the screen in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are joining me right now, we are closing out. You have missed a good old time. Go back and look at the recording in the name of Jesus. This was awesome. Come on and tap those hearts. Let's praise God on our way out. Let's just praise God. God, praise him just as you're saying thank you Jesus and hallelujah I want you to tap those hearts we are worshiping God through hearts if we can wave or give God a wave offering let's give God a heart offering to represent what we love about him and the love that we have for him in the name of Jesus God we just thank you we praise you we magnify you hallelujah you guys have an awesome day if you are not a part of my I speak life society on Facebook um, it is a, a group for women of faith who want to live purposefully and who want to grow spiritually I challenge you to go request access you just gotta search I speak life society it will pop up um, if you are interested in possibly coaching with me if you need faith coaching if you need life purpose coaching if this is something where you need some more clarity about some things I challenge you to book a pick my brain 45 minute session with me go to my website trueheartspeaks.com click the work with me tab let's get this popping if you need more than 45 minutes let's do the 30 day push me session in the name of Jesus I declare that you will walk up right before God I declare that you will have victory I declare that you will have clarity in the name of Jesus you guys have an awesome day and I will see y'all in the Facebook group bye